Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, November 4th, 2018. And I want to give you a brief update on the all-iron battery. So for the last almost two years now, we've been working on an all-iron battery, meaning an iron metal anode and an iron salt cathode that can be made fairly inexpensively with non-toxic, non-acidic, non-caustic components, and that all the ingredients of it will be cheap and accessible. And we're getting pretty close. Uh, toward uh, the end of summer, we demonstrated a small cell, which I'm gonna show you right here. So it's only about 20 milliliters, and we stacked up five of these guys to make a reasonable voltage battery, but we want to move to this much larger 200 milliliter cell. And that's turning out to be a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge. So this size of cell has a much larger carbon felt current collector. We're working on getting a big piece of carbon felt right now. We're kind of sewing together smaller chunks. Uh, we'll find a source for that. And, but otherwise it's, it's largely the same construction. We fold up a paper separator and then treat that with nafion, which is a good uh, ion selective membrane material. And now it turns out that this, this big cell uh, doesn't really support its own weight as well as this little cell and so we need to somehow uh, support this and so the next step is to build an enclosure that's going to hold a whole bunch of these uh, individual cells next to one another so we can chain them up in series and get a better voltage but also that will keep them from sagging under their own mass uh, so we can we're starting off making this sort of uh, enclosure out of just this sort of uh, light plywood laser cut on our laser cutter and we have different slots so that we can position those slats in between the individual cells. Let me show you how that's going to shake out. So my student Nico has built these different slats to come together with just the right geometry for this larger pouch cell. So you can see how this is going to assemble as I struggle to get it to hold together in one piece but the holes all around the edges there are going to hold these vertical slats that are going to keep the individual cells in place meanwhile there's going to be this larger outer shell that should protect the battery from any punctures the cell then slides in like this and each slat will fall into place vertically like so and when we get this a little more refined, we're going to release the plans so you can cut your own if you're interested. That is just the first prototype. It's made out of a plywood material and that's obviously not ideal. We're going to move to a acrylic material here in the next iteration and that will certainly make things clearer. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, we will be working on getting all the different components for the actual chemistry uh, and scaling up. It's the same as the instructions which I will link in the description below uh, but yeah and this should pack enough power to say uh, at least power a decent sized flashlight for a number of hours uh, as long as it's based on LEDs so I think it's a decent mm, demonstration of this chemistry's practical applications uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing I hope you keep tuning in we update every week or two <laughs> these days um, special thanks to our crowd funders and to Nico who worked really hard on building this prototype and we will see you next time.